Hello everybody. So this is going to be a quick video about love. Specifically, we're going to talk about Sternberg's tri triangular theory of love. So let's get back to it. So Sternberg argues that there are three basic ingredients to love. And okay, I'm on the wrong slide. Boom. There are three basic ingredients to love. Intimacy, passion, and commitment. Now, intimacy is this feeling of connection, closeness to our partner. Um, this can involve, you know, sharing a lot of intimate information. Um, <clears throat> and so, if 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 all a relationship has is intimacy, then, they, then the people who have share that intimacy they like each other, uh, but they probably don't experience any kind of uh, any any other kind of love, any kind of love. Um, well, I guess you can consider that love, but it would be love based solely on um, passion is a the ingredient that involves a desire for the part um, uh, particularly a, a desire for sexual contact and if this is the only kind of uh, the only ingredient between two individuals then you have infatuation and then commitment is the third ingredient Commitment involves devotion to the partner, a, a desire to remain in the relationship. Um, uh, now, um, if you have this um, by itself, um, then I forget the name, what it's called off the top of my head. Um, oh yeah, it's, it's called an empty love. So if you have this kind of um, Commitment with no intimacy and um, if you have this kind of intimacy without, sorry, if you have this kind of commitment with no intimacy, if you don't really share any information and you, you don't really have a whole lot of desire, physical desire for one another, then you know it's, it's, you can call that just empty love. But when we start combining these ingredients, then we start getting different types of love. So um, if you have High intimacy, so you, you, you share about one another a lot, and you really kind of want to get with one another, you really kind of want to hook up, then you probably have what uh, Sternberg calls romantic love. So you have this combination of intimacy and passion. Um, but if you have a, if you have passion, you really want to get with them, and you, you devoted that relationship, we'll be together forever, uh, like you see in the movies a lot. Then you have fatuous love, and uh, so you know I, I I think about this as movie love. I think I might have just read that, but that's what it's sometimes called movie love. It, it, you know, all the time you're in the Notebook, even though that movie makes me cry. Um, it dehydrates me. Um, it does make me cry, but I don't know. Um, you know, but but movies like that, you know, where it. Um, uh, you have this relationship that very it develops very quickly. People don't really know each other. They really want to hook up, and they want to be together forever, even though they don't think about one another. That's bachelor's love uh, because there's a lot of there's a lot of passion, there's a lot of commitment, but no one. But if you have a lot of intimacy, you know a lot about a person, and you really devoted to staying in a relationship with them, then you've got companion love. And so com a lot of friends share companion love. Um, <clears throat> but if you've got all three, you're really close, you, you share a lot of information with one another, you, you really want to hook up, you really want, you really want to um, you know, insert whatever slang term is used for hooking up these days in here, um, and, you, and, you, and you're really devoted to maintaining that relationship, then you've got all three ingredients and you've got what Sternberg calls constant love. Um, now, there is some suggestion that a, while a lot of marriages start with constant love, those that end up lasting long term end up shifting from constant love into more of a constant love. Um, so, I mean, and in, in there is some work showing that, you know, uh, that kind of passion, uh, it tends to burn out after about seven years. And in fact, seven years is about the time when a lot of the, when divorce becomes pretty likely. Um, so, uh, that that makes sense if you know people have this idea that uh, you know, 
I'm gonna, I, I want to have, I want to have that passion for a partner on the same generation. That it makes sense if, if it burns out around year seven, that that's when you can decide, eh, yeah, I'm calling. It. All right, guys, and that, so that is Sternberg's triangular theory of love. Um, uh, there's, there's a couple other theories of love. Um, you might check out the work by Hendrick, Clyde Hendrick, uh, and his wife, uh, Sue Hendrick, if you want to know a little bit more about other models of love. Um, but that's all, but uh, Sternberg theory was all that I was. Um, as always, got questions, send them away. If not, 